It's been about a month since Governor Abbott started phasing out the statewide mask mandate, but there are still businesses in the state that say they will not reopen until it is unconditionally safe for them to do so, including right here in Mohawk at the Red River Cultural District. It's been a very long year for Mohawk. Mohawk uh, officially closed, closed its doors on March 16th of 2020 and we haven't been open to the public since. This is Michael. He runs his place and he's seen that struggle firsthand. We've lost 95% of our revenue uh, over a year. He's still unsure exactly when Mohawk will open its doors again, but when it does, it'll look a bit different than last year. We'll have sanitized stations all over the place. Um, we've improved our, our HVAC and filtering. Um, we're going to be, uh, we're gonna be encouraging masks very much so. Um, and possibly requiring them, depending on what the climate is when we do reopen. There's just so much to consider, he says, from new COVID cases, vaccination rates, and the nature of live music venues like Mohawk, namely the large crowds and closed spaces. It really creates an environment that is uh, prime for this virus to spread. So um, we haven't found a good way to, to open safely um, and still have that atmosphere and that, the feel that we need in order for it to be a Mohawk experience. Since state leaders believe Texas is on the right track to overcome the pandemic, the message has been that the Lone Star State is back in business, but leaders like Michael aren't yet buying it. Believe me, I wanna get back to work. I wanna rehire all of my employees, but I wanna do that in, in a safe way. And I have to do it um, when I know that my employees are gonna be safe and I know that my guests are gonna be safe. There is a strong appetite for things to return to normal, but. If we breach our social contract by bringing them into an unsafe environment, we're not doing anybody any favors. Moving impulsively, Michael says, is a gamble he's not willing to make.